I stare death down in the face every day. The second I put this badge on and go up on that street. Staring right down at me and I'm staring right back. You just follow its ways. One might call in a way they were opposite. You see, you stare at death all you please. You think, you put that badge on them. You keep people away from death, some hero, like you have some righteous purpose, McCormick. The problem is, you only save those people for a little bit, for a short amount of time. Death always catches up, no matter how fast you run. That's true, you're right. Death always has the last laugh. But toying and defying with such a great power? Mm. I don't know. You see, McCormick, your thoughts are clouded and delusional. You think you have some sort of sway over what will and won't happen. It will happen regardless of whatever games you try to play. Yeah, but I'd rather happen, it happen my way than somebody else's. Sometimes you don't have a choice, Daryl. Ah, we always have a choice in everything. Depends on how we started and also depends on how we ended. There is no choice in death. You die, and then it is over. But as you said, it's not over. It's just different, right? I don't know what it is for you people. But the Reaper does not fear death. It is not the end. So what are you trying to say? Is that after you fed death so much, it's your time to feed it by yourself? No, McCormick. I am death. Norman may die. I will not. Interesting. Why are you here, detective? Are you here to rationalize it like everybody else this week? Rationalize what? What you do? Or why you did it? Nah, I'm already past that. So many fucked up people in this town to do whatever the fuck they want. Probably gonna end up dead sooner or later. That's not a problem. I'm here to do what I do every day. Stare death in the face. Smile. Maybe you have a nice conversation that exceeds expectations of conversations in the city. Well, you'd be just as delusional as the rest of these criminals. Maybe I am.
take your illusion and go, McCormick. There is nothing left for you here. There is one thing. One thing that I think we should talk about after the court case. You think? But I don't know if I will be able to get you alone. You think they're gonna let me walk after that court case? No, I don't think they're gonna let you walk. But then again, Lady Justice is blind. She only weighs. Yeah, I suppose we'll see. We'll see you in which side weighs the most at the end, Norman. Suppose they will. There is something along those lines that uh, kind of makes me angry. Uh, let's just say that uh, Our Lady Justice is not as blind as one might think in the city. Yeah. Suppose you're not wrong about that. And let's just say that even if I don't agree on your method, I don't really agree on uh, your choice of picking people. You're right about one thing. That is. For some people, death is the final trip. It's that one thing that will make them look back at their lives and think twice. People have forgotten what it means to fear death, McCormick. You included, and you, you're delusional. Oh, it's not that I don't fear death, Norman. That I like to play with it. It's the difference. Play. But you know what they say, it's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. Keep that in mind, McCormick, for the next time you want to play a game. I mean, Norman, in this fucked up town, if we're not playing games, then what the fuck are we doing? Something more important, I'd imagine. McCormick. Maybe. Continue to play your games. Run and hide people as long as you'd like. I'll always catch up. Maybe you will, Mr. Death. That's not a maybe, son. It's a guaranteed. You see, I think people keep wishing me luck and trying to understand and see if there's any, anything left of what I used to be. They think that this isn't, this isn't what should happen. This isn't what is right for old Norman. Like I don't, like I'm not okay with it. I've never been more comfortable in my life. I've never been more at ease than I am this day. Hey, bud. Yikes. Here's the thing about the knife chat. It may get taken away, alright?
Here's the thing about the knife. This may get taken away. We may not... We may not end up getting anybody with the knife, alright? I want you guys to be prepped for that, okay? Just because I have it doesn't mean someone gets stabbed. Is he here? What is he? Oh, it's the man in the old coat. Hey, can you come closer over here? I want to see some. I want to try something. Like over here. You can smell it. I don't, I don't smell it. I mean, it smells like you can so smell it. But I thought it would be close enough. Oh, I think I can. Ah, hi, Mr. Bones. Hello, Jesse. I was trying to sniff your coat because I like the smell of the mothballs in it. Mm -hmm. You still have moth, mothballs in your, in your coat? It is an old coat, Miss White. I like the smell of old people in it, and I like your smell. You annoy the smell me. of cigarettes in your hands and then mothballs. Intoxicating. Uh, so young and stupid. Is there something? Uh, so, Miss. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. But, no, by all means, my, I'm probably just gonna go on a weird rant about all the random things, and my brain is, uh, kind of wanders about sometimes. Right. I was just wondering what exactly you needed to know, Miss White. Oh, well, no. I'm not really sure. I remember one day at the courthouse, you see, you needed to talk to me and my sister, and we ran off because we had other things to do. And uh, when uh, me and Lauren were together, and, and I ran into you, and I smelled you at the courthouse. Oh, memories of your... Smell of your coat. So what was it that you had to tell me? Why are you here? I wanted to keep in good relations with the family. Unfortunately, I was unable to do so as I am now here. Oh, but why? You never seem to really... I used to see you at the courthouse a couple times. I thought you weren't there or something. See, my, you don't strike me like the, the type that, uh, go breaking the law. When I'm here now, am I not? Wait, what? I'm yeah, I mean, now. I see you're here. You seem like a nice guy. You don't see what they would put you here? Why are you here? It's, it's what I'm asking. Lots of bad things, Miss Why. Does this guy ever stop screaming? Make no, me angry. He doesn't. The fuck? Uh, not bad. Stab him. Just stab him with a with a knife to the neck. If I could I would. Uh so what things have you done? Exactly what things, Mr. Bones. Would you like to hear the list of charges, Miss Y? Uh, yeah, sure. I have some time. It's really nothing uh happening in town, so I figure I'd just come and and. Well, first I thought I'm gonna go see if I can smell his coat, but that was that was actually the main reason I came. It's just an excuse to smell you again, but sadly now I'm just stuck behind this glass and I have to talk to you, but. I like you, so that's okay. Settle for that. 48 to 49 counts of attempt. Damn it, this guy is like. What? Yeah, that, I mean, I don't know what this guy is doing. He keeps screaming in my head. I'm gonna see if there's like a way of uh, making that stop. Sure. Check my card at you guys, please, no. All right, Mr. Bones, Tracy, do something. Is this all right? Perfect. I killed him with my thoughts. Wonderful. Anyway, 
now or exactly? All these years. Uh, never mind, I won't worry about it. But if you're curious, 48 to 49 counts of attempted first and second degree premeditated murder. Four counts of first and second degree capital murder. Multiple counts. Wait, what? Of desecration of corpses. Multiple counts of unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping. Obstruction of justice. And overall terrorism, Miss White. That's just silly. I don't... I don't believe that they... They wouldn't do that. It's, they're framing you. I, I mean, you look like such a nice guy. You don't look like you would hurt a fly. I, you didn't do those things, Mr. Bone, did you? Miss White. If I was on the other... Yes, sir. If I was on the other side of this glass, I'd kill your friend, and then you immediately after. I'd take your tattoos, what? and I'd cut off your hair. Hey, listen. Listen there, buddy. You... Man, you're just saying that because there's probably other pressing men that are listening to you, so you just want to say I'm tough. It's okay, Mr. Bones. I understand. I'm not going to tell nobody. Just, just stay strong in there, okay? Just, just, I heard on the TV, just don't drop the soap, whatever that means. And there is no one here. You'll be out here in no time. And there is no one behind me. And I'd carve your eyes out, give him the chance. Do you understand me? Um, why would you do that? You seem like a nice guy. What is your friend's name? Uh, his name is Ben. He drives me around because I can't drive. Real quiet over there, Ben. I'm just impressed by the judges. I don't. I think he made it up, Ben. He's a really nice guy. I met him at the courthouse. Yeah, he's a, impressive. He's, That's a lot. No, he's just probably lying because you know how there's uh like you know there's other guys in there like gang members and stuff. They'll beat him up. Can't tell nobody. He doesn't seem like someone who's acting all up, to be honest. He's like, look at it. He's so nice. I can no, I don't believe it. I don't need to. What can to I look this kind of Mr. Bone? Jesse, if you wish to hear the charges it's... yourself, go to the courthouse. They'll give you every detail of it. Hmm. He doesn't seem like someone who's making fun of that, to be honest. Miss White. Wait, wait. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Let's speak about your sister, shall we? If you had the yeah, opportunity, Khaleesi. Hmm? She passed. Oh, I'm well aware she passed. Khaleesi was something special, but, you know, before she went. Yes, sir. Did you ever hear about her going missing? Uh, there was a, a while ago, um, uh, I believe her husband and her friends, Mr. Vinny the Stone, and... Sister Lauren, I believe, and everybody was looking for her. She was gone for like 11 hours. No one knew of her, like her employees or nothing. And I, I heard a story that uh, she she had uh, woken up in the dirty basement of a drug den and her tattoos were carved up. Mr. Murphy told me that. Khaleesi. But she couldn't remember it. Khaleesi was... Oh, beautiful.
poor thing. Jesse, the reason she went missing is standing on the other side of this glass. I carved her tattoos. I stabbed, and I stabbed, and I left her there to rot in that meth house. She was number 29, Jesse. She's partly why I'm here now. You monster. In fact. I you, you monster. I'd like to give you every little detail, Miss White. She was alone, coming out of her apartment. Oh, God. She needed a taxi ride. None of her bodyguards in sight. She didn't know much about me. Though I know plenty about her. So I picked her up. She needed a ride. So I drove her. She said she needed to go to her liquor store in Sandy Shores, but I restrained her. Took her down into that basement. She cried and wept. Did you know that? I'm a big... She would never, you liar. Khaleesi was very brave. No a mess with her. You probably drugged her up and took her. She would never cry, you liar. That's she a lie. That is a lie. For long and hard, she cried. She begged. She pleaded. Slowly did I cut out her tattoo. She begged, he says, Ben, that's not true. My sister would never do that. Anyone that knew Khaleesi knew that she would never, never would do anything like that. She was just a straight bad Cloud from yourself She would have carved your eyes out. Thoughts you want to keep of your sister, but she cried. She kept crying as I stabbed her. No more bones, you're a liar. You're a liar and I will kill you. I will kill you. I will murder you. I will kill you. You lying sack of shit. No, she didn't. She did not cry, you asshole. I hope you rot in here. I hope to see you soon, Jesse. No, I you're don't a think monster. I have you're a monster. You're a monster and you deserve to die. Your sister would him. never beg. You probably drugged her and dragged her wherever she was found or, or however it happened. You're a monster. You're a monster, Mr. Bones. Take your delusional thoughts, your driver, and get out of my prison. I enjoyed watching her suffer. You are no different. Leave. You're a monster. You're a monster. She would never. You probably did some awful, awful trick or something. You gave her something. I know she would never beg, especially Khaleesi. She had too much pride. I know that. She would have carved you up. I'm sure oh, you heard the rumors. Gee. I am sure you heard the rumors about her, which I, I still don't believe, but that was true. She would have just carved you up instead, sir. Oh, she certainly tried. She got a few in, but it felt good. Couple couple of jabs to the stomach and a scar on my face. Though I carved it out, it's still there regardless. Your sister was equally as much as a monster as I was, no matter how much you want to deny it, Jesse. Khaleesi was a good person. She was loved and she helped everybody. She can never be something like you are. 
You're sick. You're sick, man. You're a monster. Take your driver and take your delusion somewhere else, little girl. <laughs> you're a monster. And you're gonna get what you deserve. I hope someone gets you in here and I hope they hurt you. You're a monster, Mr. Bones. And if I could, I would kill you myself. Take your driver and go suffer somewhere else. Let's get out of here, man. It's funny, you'll get what you deserve. You'll pay for that. No. No, I won't. Uh, you don't know me, but, uh, I've been having, uh, issues that you might be familiar with. I, uh, found out that through the news and all that, that you're in here for, uh, how many was it? Fifty plus? Fifty-three. Pills? Fifty-three. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say that I uh, I admire you. I mean, probably some other sickos do too, but I truly admire you. Staying in the shadows, that for fifty-three kills. But uh, then finally getting caught because you got sloppy. Or did you intentionally do that? Nothing. That I did went unplanned. Don't seem the type. Well, just gonna say that uh, I am um, gonna continue something. Even after you're gone, I'm gonna continue. And, uh, yeah, just to uh, scratch the itch, I just uh, wanted to meet you before I uh, lose the chance to, you know, in the next, uh, let's see here, six hours. Mm. Yeah, terrible for me. It's, it's, it's too bad I can't get an autograph or a, a knife from you. You know, that well, kind of thing. Here's the thing. So, uh. What is your name, son? Uh, they call me James. James. Listen. You're young. You're eager, I'm sure. Who walks around over there? I don't know, but he may, might end up being number 13. James. One second. Oh. <laughs> it's no one. Didn't you? James. I get that you are young and eager. You you are going to be reckless. You see This is my regardless. first reckless thing. Regardless of what happened to me, I would carry on. Do your best to be an instrument of death, but you do not understand. No, not yet. But I will one day. Either still out there, living a life, maybe have children, grow old, or, you know, on the other side of this thing. Whichever. 
Damn, as long as I get to scratch the itch. You may want to kill people, but we are not the same, boy. No, I would never consider us the same. <laughs> uh, but, uh, um, we're close in some regard. Similarity, sure. But you... You're too eager for your blade. If you want to continue, yes. I suggest taking it slow. Good to know. Take it slow. Who's your friend, right. James? I don't know. That's, uh, he's really making me want to, uh, be a bit reckless. But I'll hold my tongue. Hold, I'll hold back. Just, uh, enjoy the other side there. Oh, sir. I will. Bring me your friend. go in there. Don't be afraid. Do not hide stab you from me, door, coward. Through the window. Don't call me a coward, you bitch. What'd you say? Huh? The hell we're do just, you think you're calling us, door, We're just man. listening to your little private conversation. Hell's no great. man. No man. Huh? What's it like behind the bars? Hmm? How does it feel knowing you might die today? Might be killed? Quite relieving, actually. Tell me, That's... boys, did you come to taunt? Because you'll be getting nothing out of me. Actually, yes, we did. Well, that's a waste of time then, eh? It's the only reason we came here, Norman. At least give us something. Oh, yeah. that's, a bit, that's a bit disappointing. It's a bit, you know, it's a two, it's two way street, man. Listen, I'm all the way here to taunt you, and you're not even gonna give. I came to terms with death a long time ago, boys. I've been ready and willing a long time. What you say here changes nothing. What about, uh, hey, I hope you don't get the death penalty, because then you have to live in there forever. With yeah, then you have to live here forever. <laughs> yep. And then I get to see you two over and over, no matter how many times you I'm come I'm not a criminal. Prison. I don't yeah, know crime. I haven't been to jail in like a month, Norman. I'm a You try to come to Burrito and ruin it, but you got caught. You got caught because I, my eyes are too sharp for you. Mr. Kai, I live there. Oh, you suspicious, you little suspicious man, you little creeper. You little... Say we're little, ruining little, Pareto. You're ruining Pareto. You little rat. You li yes, you're a leech. Boy, you're a little leech. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just sucking on people's death. <laughs> Hear that? That's you. No, Raj, this grass before, eh? Uh, Tower tested it. This grass isn't bulletproof. That's so. Wow, you hurt Rebecca, Raj. You did stab Rebecca, Norman. Now he put that knife into Rebecca. Actually. I feel Norman. <sighs> Go ahead, Raj. Do it. I Why? Am, I am. Why did you do you. it, man? Why did you stab Rebecca? Why? You know, Rebecca. She's not as innocent as you think. She helped me on several occasions, Raj. She brought people to me. She lured them in. She brought them into my web. And all I did was finish the job. She was just as much of a monster as I am. 
conceal all, and deny all you want, taunt, if it makes yourself feel better. But she is no different. Do what you please, Raj. What you do here changes nothing. Now it's funny, Norman. You seem to underestimate mine and Rebecca's friendship because she already told me all of this. She already told me, Norman, and I'm not going to be the one to satisfy your needs. I just hope you rot in here with the rest of the scumbags and criminals that you want to kill. Raj, if I live, you better hope oh, Raj. I make it out of here, boy. Raj, he's not even worth our time. You don't want to become like him. You don't want to be he's rich disgusting. down like him. Like this. He's a rat. Best of a human. Kudo. Ah. Uh -huh. How long have you sat atop that throne of yours, boy? Oh, wrong time. I've always come out on top. You know me. Do you know me? I don't know. Are you trying to hunt me, eh? Here's the thing, Kudo. And I was a prize for you, right? But you really wanted to stab me, didn't you? But you would have bladed me right now, don't you? You're as unimportant as the dirt that, that I walk on, Kudo. Uh-huh. Listen. You can give yourself as much praise as you see fit. Make yourself more important than you are. Death always catches up. You can keep running, but I will be there, Kudo. Take your insolent friend and leave my prison. No shitting in the yard. Hey, Raj, you want to rave or you want to stay? He isn't worth our time, as you said. He is wasting my time. I, I can, you know, I've mean, got better things to do. i got better people to talk to. You know how you rot. Business to attend to, Norman. Enjoy being dead, Raider. Enjoy that. Enjoy your last hours, Norman. What small pathetic people those were. They had nothing of importance to come in here and try and taunt. I mean, what? Make themselves feel better. Sad. And pathetic. Death will come for him soon enough. So, uh, how, how long are you? are you serving in here? How long am I here? Till about yeah, later on you, the uh... day, whenever my court case happens. Oh, what's the court case about? Would you like to hear my charges? Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? All right. <clears throat> 48 to 49 counts of attempted first and second degree premeditated murder. Four counts of first and second degree premeditated murder. Multiple counts of desecration of corpses. Uh, unlawful imprisonment, kidnapping. Obstruction of justice and overall terrorism. <clears throat> um. Wow, that's a uh, um um. That's a pretty nice list you got going there. Uh, -huh. uh well, hopefully you're not guilty. That uh, I can't imagine that if you're found guilty, that you're gonna get a very nice sentence or anything. If we were not in this prison. And out on the street somewhere, I got you where you stand. Do you understand me? Um, uh, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, uh, do, 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 that'd be smart. Do. I apologize, Miss White. Tell me that. everything. I know. I know you heard her. Tell me everything. I already 
right there. I didn't believe you. I was too busy. Was that thoughts in my head? Tell me again, you monster. Tell me. I told you. Why? <laughs> it seems very suspect of you, Miss White. You reached out to Miss Valigay. Over to her. What for? I did. I did because when I first met her, Mr. Mr. Holden told me she was she was one of my sister's closest friends to stay close to her. I don't have anyone. Only family that I have left here is my sister Lauren. I have no one that I could talk to right now. And you sent me off, tell me, run alone, little girl. Who do you think you are, Mr. Bones? Who do you think you are, you monster? You monster. I hope you rot in here. I hope you rot for what you've done. Oh. You are. You are so upset, dear see. You monster, you're not going to get your hands on me. And I remember that day in the court, you told me, you told me you had to talk to me. Well, I'm glad I didn't. How dare you, you filthy, filthy beast. How dare you, Mr. Bones. Laughing, telling me what you've done. You're a monster. And then you dared desecrate my sister's name. She was a good person. She's not a monster like you. You're a monster, Mr. Bones. <laughs> You're a monster. And if you don't stay in here, I will kill you myself. I will take you and kill you with my bare hands, Mr. Bones. <laughs> You see, Jesse, today I know that a lot of people are going to be that in that courtroom. A lot of them are not going to be happy with me. A lot of them are going to be crying and weeping, some even with anger. I didn't expect it from you, but this sure is the cherry on top. You're a monster. I hope they take your life. And I hope I'm there to watch you. You're truly what nightmares are made of. I wish I never met you. Khaleesi was a lot like me, Jesse. No, she wasn't. She was, she was good. <laughs> she stabbed, she carved, she experimented <laughs> on humans. No, she didn't. You're a liar. You're a liar. <clears throat> you, you are just young, trying to hide from the truth. You learn one day, Jesse. <laughs> Mr. Bones, why would you say those things about her? She was good. She's everything me and Lauren looked up to. She was good. She did good. She didn't do those things. And you're a monster.
monster. You just want to see me upstairs. I, I don't believe you. My mom don't hear it, Lula. Yes, it is. You can rant and rave all you want. It's not going to bring her back. And it's not going to make her a good person. She was evil. Just as I am. <laughs> I'm just eating. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're a monster. <laughs> you know, it is refreshing. God, <laughs> having someone come in here this, throughout this entire week not trying to rationalize what I've done and seeing me for what I am. When I was little, my sister used to tell me the stories. The scary man in the woods. Don't trust a man in the woods, Jesse. They like to do things to little girls. And uh, she used to tell me the stories about how they like to stab little kids or, or just take them and bury them. I used to like scary stories. But I realize you're truly the man in the story. People like that are real. And you are true breathing, walking beast. Mr. Bones, you're truly a monster, and I won't sit here and rationalize anything because I don't care to. But I hope you rot in hell. I hope you get what you deserve for what you've done to Miss Nina and Khaleesi and all those other people. And I may be young. I am. I am only 18 years old. But you, sir, you are a monster. And I'm glad you're back there because it scares me to think that you were once walking amongst us and that I could have gone and spoken with you alone. You know, you crying and in fear, it reminds me of your sister. You should know that sometimes those stories have their merit. You ought to learn what it means to fear death, Miss White. You're a liar! You're a lion monster! Khaleesi didn't cry. She was brave and she was good. And you're nothing but a liar! You liar! Take it back! Take it back! Please stab me. Please, Mr. Bones! She caught she was that good. knife into my face. She was good! She shot, robbed, and killed countless <laughs> people. Desecrated their corpses. Mangled them. Your sister was just as much as a monster. Ow. Run home. This is no place for children, Jesse. You'll learn eventually. Go soak somewhere else. I'm no child, Mr. Bones. Oh, yeah. you are.
You will pay for what you've done, Mr. Bone. You will pay. You will pay for what you've done. No. And I hope those people get their justice. Norman may pay. You, sir. I will not. God damn, man. Ain't your court case pretty soon? In a couple hours, yes. Ooh. Oh, boy. You're going to be the God damn. Boy. What? Yeah, of course I sure am. I already know. Listen, I'm almost positive they'll make sure that I don't have any weapons before I get in there, but... Oh, don't, don't you worry, man. I get it to you. I don't care how you do it or who gives it to me. I just need that knife. I have one now. Oh, I'll get I you a knife. Don't worry. Wonderful. I doubt it'll make it in. Regardless. I mean, is there like a specific time you need it? Because I'm thinking maybe I sneak in late. Maybe somehow I get it through the door at the start. I don't know. I mean, when you need it. Oh, I'll need it late. Late? All right. Either late way, too. just either one of you. Make sure you've got it on you. I got you. Oh, you already know. Right, right. You still got the one I got? Of course I do, Wyatt. Ooh. Yeah. That'd be a good distraction, you know? They see that on you, they'd be like, God damn. Well, we already took his shit away. No point checking him again. Right. It's just, you two are known criminals. And if they pat you down, I'd like maybe, oh, maybe a yeah, few I know. friends to just carry some. They don't have to know why. They just need to get you the knife so it gets to me. Yeah. Either way, that's all I need. I have some ideas for that case. No, things I like ideas. I'd like to make sure that he realizes he isn't. Could I, uh, could I borrow that shank real quick? Or what exactly you mean? Well, I gotta go make somebody my prison bitch real quick. Or actually, no, don't give it to me because it's gonna. Uh... Forgot about that. Right, yeah, the police will come and get rid of it. Well, no, no, it's not that, you know, it just, yeah, 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 just kind of. Okay, I understand. Anyway. Man, I'm gonna do my jobs. Alright. So, how's everything been going? It's cold and lonely here. This place was made for me. Yeah, people have been saying I'm gonna end up here with you. Well, they might be right, Wyatt. <laughs> nah, I'm too good on the stand. Yeah, well, I wish you the best of luck. Maybe you're trying. I'll be fine. Yeah. Be a little less one sided than mine. Yeah, you're. you're fucked. You know why? You could have brought me on as your lore. As funny as that would have been, I, uh, I don't care whether or not I live. No shit. I do, Norman. We have a bond. 
Or it does not should uh, fly. That's true. Though I will miss you, you're truly the only friend I've ever had. Hey, don't worry, buddy. You know what? I'll honor your memory. Someone's on the roof. I couldn't ask for more. Going, boy. Hi. Hi. Hey, Devil Spawn. I'm not Devil Spawn. Yes, you are. I'm not no Devil Spawn. How's it going, sexy? Why going good. Good. I am sick. Uh, bank robbery. Of course. Surprise, surprise. Hey, Raj, quit shaming yes. me. All right? I got a problem. Yeah, you do. What, what, what's that problem? No IQ? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. Enormous. I love you, really. Idiot. Yes. Why don't we go to visitation for a second? Sure. Have a conversation. I'm a listening. Wyatt, don't be nosy. You stay outside. Wyatt! Well, look at you. The other side of the glass. Wyatt, can you go away? I just saw you go in. Just... It will be alright for now. Though we may have company soon. Was that? Hmm? I heard siren. Anyway. Rebecca. It's so nice to see you again, Norman. Oh, I'm sure. Do you want to see the nice scar that you gave me in my back? Healing pretty well. I don't care. I just have one question for you. Let's hear it. Why did you ask so much about my past right before you hurt me? Did you think that was my weakest moment? No. It's what made you what you are. No, you're not weak, Rebecca. I never saw you as such. Merely just a necessity. You got sloppy on purpose. So curious, so curious. But I guess we'll find out today. The that purpose. we will. Tell me, Rebecca, are you enjoying your time in Polito? Yeah, I am enjoying my time. I find it pretty, uh, fun. Why are you here, Rebecca? Oh, I thought maybe we could have a private conversation, but... No, it's quite it doesn't seem likely, but I just I wanted to know, because I think I thought you thought I was weak, no but not weak. Though. You know, because you trusted Mr. Derp, you know, more than me. I actually kind of took a little bit of offense to that. I was hurt. I don't trust. Anyone more than anybody. You know, maybe I just wanted to see you on the other side of this glass after what you did. Well, Raj because and Kudo, it's you there, not me. Raj and Kudo, 
came to taunt earlier. If you wish to do the same, feel free to gawk. I'm not here to taunt you, Norman. I could never. Oh, but you are. Mm. Anyhow, Rebecca, you truly were something special, but it's unfortunate that the choices you made. The choices I made? What? By having interaction with people? By maybe making friends, Norman? Was that what scared you off? It doesn't scare me. But it is stupid. Maybe I just didn't have anything to hide. At the end of the day, I might be good at what I do, but I still need human interaction. Because I still have a soul, Norman. You are quite empty. You are stating the obvious, Granola. What? Did you not see this from the start? I knew exactly what you were and what you were capable of. Like we both said, I'm not stupid, Norman. Everything that I did, every step that I took, it was well planned out and planned. Don't worry about that. I'm sure it was, Rebecca. You wouldn't you come know. here asking questions if it I want wasn't to wish you luck, planned, Norman. Rebecca. Whatever comes out of this, just good luck. I don't need your luck. Leave my prison. I will see Your you prison. soon. <laughs> Not soon enough. That's with Anya. That was intense. Mm, Rebecca thinks she's so goddamn clever. Now there's two people I want to get. Who's that? Those two. She's one of them. These two. She's got a mouth on her. She sure does, Wink. Mm. Whoops. What are these cops doing? I don't know. Who else are you trying to get after, Wyatt? You know, I was hearing, uh, so I heard some stuff about Chastity and Rebecca, where my name was involved. So those two need to meet their fucking aunt. That they do. I think they're so goddamn clever. Just cause they were puppets at some point. A puppet master does not fear his puppets. They can try That's they true. That's do you up? think that lady was scared of Lamb Chop? Yo, no, Juan, Lamb up, Chop sang that song Yo, that never 36. ends. Because Yo. she would demanded it of him. She demanded. Damn right. Yo, what's up? Can't wait for your case. I know, I know. What's up, what's up? Come on, bro. Nah. Take a walk with me, Wyatt. Let's just circle around. Will do, buddy. I am going to miss you, Norman. You were a lot of fun. Oh, 
had a lot of good times together, you know? But we do. How many people did you murder? That's impressive. That is impressive. Not a single conviction until now. Well, how did it happen? What led to this point in time? I still don't know. A lot of small things. Clues here and there that they hate that law. Did you get cocky? Never cocky. Here's the thing why it's. I'm only here because I willed it. Damn, that's hard. I guess all good things have to come to an end. For the next, the next thing to start. Damn right, why? But it's not going to be the same. Now, what's chaos without the god of death? It's just chaos. The god of death gave me purpose. Chaos will always have purpose. Evil and chaos are one and the same. Just because I am God does not mean evil dies. One second, Norman, my fly's down. Sure. All right. There will be another who comes along, Wyatt. You are too good at chaos. I don't know who. I'm I sure I'll find them. I don't know where. Or they'll find me. Chaos are drawn to one another. They really are. We had a bond since the start. That we did. I remember the first day I met you, Wyatt. You kidnapped me and used me as a hostage in a robbery. Yeah, I do that. Was you the cookie? I think it might have been you or something. I think it was Dirty Mike. Oh, ah, yeah. If I was yes. with the cookie. From that day forward, I knew you were crazy, but it only made sense. All I know is we gotta make sure you get that knot. Oh, you are right about that, boy. I don't care how it's done, I just need it. I don't come out back this way often. I'm sure of it. Pretty view of the mountain. Yeah, prison's not that bad. It's got nice scenery. Yeah, it's very true. At least on the outside. The inside, not so much. Yeah, the inside is kind of shitty, Norman. I'm in here a lot. Oh, I 
know. You know, I won my case. I won my case against the cops simply because I committed too much crime. They couldn't disprove my wrongful imprisonment. That was my plan all along. Good lord. You're so good at your job, they can't even convict you for it. Uh, yeah, I'm three for three in court. All W's. Okay, let's get both songs. Or did they try and convict you, Wyatt? I'll win. There's a possibility that you won't. Oh no, I'll win. I always win. You're Only thing that might yeah, fuck me yeah. is Chastity and yeah. Rebecca. I got a con right. I got I already got a plan for that. I got two plans. In case the other one fails, I got a second plan. I'm playing 4D chess over here. People forget that. So, well, I hope everything pans out for you, Wyatt. No, it will. I hope everything pans out for you. I hope everything goes the way you want it to. I hope we will find out, that's for sure. You know, getting that knife to you, though, it's going to be difficult. Y'all, just hoops your police. If they take that one, it's going to be hard to get that one in. I'm still going to try. Yeah, I'm still going to do. Them right, Wyatt. Talk to whoever you need to. Maybe they come around. Just bring them to me. I don't care who it is. I'll take the damn thing. See, it's just like the best opportunity to get you to nap is right when you're getting taken into the courtroom. Because having to wait until like you're in front of an audience, it's gonna be really hard for me to hand you a knock with all the eyes just facing forward. Right, right, I agree. Oh, I think I know what the best time is. I know what the best time is. Wow. You ready? When they call for recess in the courtroom, exactly. when, it, when a lot of people tend to walk out and leave. I'll have eyes all around me, though. But not as many. I can I already know how I'll do it. I'll trip and fall on the ground, and I'll put the knife in your boot. Ugh, I'm so clumsy. You slip. Ugh. That'll be... That'll be wonderful. Gonna be in the other county, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll get something set up. I mean, because this is like... Sorry, what was that one more time? My bad. Um, because your trial's a big fucking deal. Like, your trial's bigger than all of them. It's, it's pretty big, yeah. Hmm. Did you ever think about pleading insanity? That could work. Hey, it might, but I've gone with no contest. I'm not going against the charges, why? That's true, them judges are fucked up. 
Multi Journal. Yeah. Sounds good, buddy. Yeah, I got faith, though, that if I don't succeed, Ming will. Let's hope for the best, shall we? Shit, Ming's, Ming's good, man. He could sneak a bat to you. That wouldn't surprise me. Sure is a nice day. A little bit of rain seems fitting. It does. It sets the mood. That it does. You know, I asked you to. I told you already, but. Storm the courtroom with assault rifles. Though I don't know if that's viable anymore. Um, I think Ming's got some still, but I'm not sure. Hey, it's all right. I won't hold you up any longer, Why? Go do some jobs, and then I'll meet you in visitation after you get out. Will do, buddy. Have a good one. You too. Can you get Mr. Bone? It's always you. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but... Well, I apologize. If you'd like another uh, officer sometime, no, I can no, try no, and get that Sergeant. You're oh, fine. Sure. Are you sure? You seem awfully disgruntled that you're stuck with me. No, it's just... It's a coincidence, that's all. Coincidence of, of what? Yeah, did we just happen to be around? And you grabbed me. Is that again, sir? It's just, you know, each time I call, it's you. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Well, but I mean, you have the choice of me, Fletcher, Snow, or Holiday. And Snow is currently uh, teaching Fletcher to fly, so... It was me or Holiday, and Holiday didn't have a vehicle. Yes, I'm much rather you. Holiday's an idiot. I'm going to visit Snow, am I? Yeah, I can be rendezvousing with Snow. Talk to her. Sure. No. Oh my god. Do you want to put this? Da, 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 da. Seen the Jurassic Park theme tune back? <clears throat> Hello, Norman. How are you, Detective? Very well. Very well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, 
wonderful. Are you, uh... Are you prepared? I've been prepared for a long time, Jackie. I respect that. Is there anything you need today? Are you uh, looking to speak to anyone in particular, Norman? Whoever wishes to speak, they may come. I understand. You had any trouble since you've been in there? Not necessarily. Everybody who comes in has heard the name, so they tend to stay away. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Mayday, 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 it's perfect landing. Okay, it's, it's, <clears throat> okay, it's okay. We're out. Well, I'm still walk away from the vehicle. Alright. <clears throat> kill me before the case, are we? Sorry about that. Always smooth snow. That's perfect. That is right. I am... The best pilot in Los Santos, Norman. You're an idiot. Hmm. After what just happened, that's a fair comment. You need any uh, food or water? Anything like that? No, it's quite alright. I do appreciate it. I'll be here if you need okay. anything, Jackie. No, I don't think there's anything I need. Are you prepared for today? I am. I sure hope so. I oh, like you, Norman. I've been prepared for a while. You know, Jackie. Me and you are not so different. We just have different interests. In You're on yeah, we're similar. Your indifference. Your willingness to not feel anything. You use it to do a job. I used it for other things. It's truly something rare amidst the people in this city. It could have been so beautiful, Snow. Too bad you were on the other end. This, uh, this is kind of a fucked up way of telling me that we could have worked together, Norman. No. We could have never worked together, unfortunately. Though, with who you are and how you think, you would have been just as good. I'm not sure about that. I don't think, uh... Go ahead. I don't think you're similar in the way that we're, you're thinking, Norman. I'd say we're similar in the way that sometimes we're methodical. Put a lot of put forethought into things. But what you're doing with that, or what you've done with that particular set of skills is never something that I would choose or even think about doing. See, there's, there's where we separate. You have your morals and a sense of righteousness to bring people down. 
See, the problem is, no, that what you do, it stops people, it stops people from dying, at least for a short time, but no matter how much, no matter how much you try, death will always catch up. You keep running, Snow. I'll be there. Do you even, uh, I don't think you understand how many people would say stuff, stuff like to you. This is walking away. You know what, Norman? Snow. I've had so many threats like that. You have no idea how many people have said that kind of shit to me. There is a difference, Snow. This isn't a threat. I understand that you've seen things, you've been through things. Just because Norman may die does not mean it stops death. It may not be through my means. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be for a long time, but it will be slow, and you will feel every inch of it. Do you understand me, Jackie? Don't you think you can have something to do with that, Norman? No, and I don't care if I do. Hmm, doesn't sound like you don't. Jackie, you are so lost and deluded. Norman, Norman will die. I will not. No things that I'm just another criminal making threat. He still sees me as unimportant. His ignorance will be his undoing. He may be clever, but him thinking that. I'm just another case. But he's got another thing coming. You see, because in the end, death comes for us all.
Hello, Noah. Why are you here? Do you remember me? How could I forget? I'm here. I, I hear from the afterlife you have a court case coming up. I just wanted to let you know I have figured out a way how to visit you from the death. That's mighty impressive, frog. Well, frogs have magical powers, you know, unlike sloths. Right. Why are you here? Uh, I just wanted to see the Lord of Death before he sentenced to death for killing all those innocent people, including Kermit. Me. You wish to see me weep, Frog? No, I know you would never weep. These people, I get to see them in that courtroom. One last time, I get to see them suffer. And here you are, a shadow of what you were. I'm a shadow just because someone wanted to stab me, and all I wanted to do was be friends with you. Friends. You realize, Kermit, that friends will only get you hurt. Well, I realize that now, after dying. I'm sure you'll be missed, Frog. And what about your friend, the pirate? I know he caught wind of... He found some evidence of some good leads, and he was going to go after you, except you, uh, you got caught up by the police. Hmm. You know, it's difficult, Jamil. Really, you're just some delusion. Like you're not I'm here. I'm only an illusion. Right. As long as you are resting well, Frog, I care not. About your friend. I, I, I understand you, Lord of Death. Uh, I don't really understand why you were in this city, tearing down everyone in this fine city. I just tried to be friends with everybody, and uh, you, you don't need to do that, you know. You can try your best to convince me, but on something else, deep down, you'd be dead wrong, frog. I'm, I'm just trying to help you from the afterlife, you know, Noah, or Norman, as you said as I was laying in the water, drowning, dying. There is nothing you can do or say that would help me now, ghost. Let your spirit rest. 
I'll be gone oh, I don't soon think enough. my spirit will ever rest. The word of death is gone. There's your problem. Death will never leave. Norman may die, but death. Death does not. Then I must settle for when Noah leaves this earth. I suppose so, Frog. Take your leave. If you wish to haunt me more, do it some other time. Maybe later. If you survive this day, I will be seeing you again. I will haunt you forever. Well, until then, this would be goodbye, Frog. Goodbye, Noah. Enjoying the show, are we? Yeah, I was. Oh, I thought you were somebody else. Yeah, I know. This is the frog's car. He gave it to me. Oh, okay. All right, well. Hey, uh, listen, Wyatt. Could you step out? Hey, idiot, fuck off! Shit. Please just give us a little bit, friend. Listen. If by some... some small chance I... don't get to say this later, it certainly was a pleasure working and Having you as my only friend, Wyatt. It was a pleasure too, Norman. I'll see you later, friend. Be safe in the meantime, Wyatt. I will, buddy. I'll see you later. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Oh, how you doing, man? Fine. The case is growing ever closer, man. Yeah, I'm out here pretty soon, so don't worry. Probably like 15, 15 months on the sun, and I'll be out in no time. When is it? Like 20, 20 minutes? Around there, yeah. All right. Well, shit, let me clean up my jobs. I get it done, man. Don't even worry about it. 